Hi guys, welcome again. It's Jilly Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, doing a little pour for you. Hopefully it's a quick video. For those that like quick videos, I'm using a Kmart around. It's an MDF placemat that they sell at Kmart here in Australia. The one side is pre-painted and the other side's just like a wood effect. So I am going to use the pre-painted. This is just a very cheap little flat um, Lazy Susan thing. So I am doing this particular one. I don't intend spinning it, but it just just takes it up off off of this, um, off off my piddle pad. I am doing earlier. I did a pour. And I was going to use the two cups in a pour previously, but I only used the one. So I'm going to do a flip cup on this with this uh, pour, with this paint that I have in here. It's all Studio Montmartre Studio Acrylics, and my pouring medium is the 70% uh, glue and 30% water. My ratios and pouring mixture and the recipe that I do is in the information drop down box or description below they're available um, most countries now they, these particular paints so 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 okay i am going to no i don't want to use that one i'm going to use the viridian um to coat my particular surface with first it would be a good idea if I pop some gloves on uh, just trying to keep using the same pair of gloves for as many times as I possibly can uh, when they are disposable gloves yes but I do like to try and get as many times out of them as I can uh, I also do use the washing up gloves which last and last for quite a long time because you can wash your hands in the water with those and wash the paint off and reuse them so what I have in here is the Montmartre white brilliant white I have aqua aqua color I have viridian gold orange so that's loaded into that little flip cup I might actually pour a bit of the viridian on top as well thinking that maybe just really stir it up in there and add a bit of this um, bright yellow on the top each of these colors that's a little bit thin that paint good for um, swipe but not usually as good for a flip cut pour so I'm going to just pop that aside a second I'm going to pour some of the viridian around the very edge of this You don't have to do this um, with your paint. You can flip the cup and just tilt it all the way over the edge. I just find that um, doing this just, just saves you trying to stretch it out and maybe lose a, a cool effect that you may have that's shown its uh, appearance in your flip cup or whatever you choose to do. So that is such a gorgeous colour. I'll just dab my fingers around the edges to keep the edges covered. Not, don't stress over edges or because they're all things that can be fixed up at, after the paint's dry or while it's drying. You can use some of this paint off the edge and just finger pop the very edges. So, not a biggie, no big problem there. Use up the very last of this. It's a gorgeous colour. This is one of the Montmartre's new colours, the Viridian, and I just love it. Looks colours that to put with it are are bright orange, red goes absolutely stunning with it. Um, the gold, silver. Oh, anything, the yellow goes gorgeous. So many colours that you can uh, really create a beautiful piece with just those colours. 
So here we go, we're back to the basics with a flip cup. That's a little gubby thing. Gubby gubby. So there we go. It's just I just hold it and flip it, but if you find that you are not good at that, you just hold your piece on top. I can't do it with this because I've already put paint on it. So Easy Wizzy, let's get busy. Let's create some magic here. Please, please, please. Let's have some light at the end of the darkness tunnel. It's kind of getting a bit like that with everybody, I think, with the isolation. But, you know, we're all in this together and, and I'm sure that we're going to come out better and stronger for having lived through this experience in our lifetime. I really do believe that. So reach out people if you need a hand and you need someone to talk to please reach out to one another friends family uh, facebook friends just talk if you feel that you aren't coping too good and you need um so somebody there to talk to help you through it all right so this is something that will totally relax you doing these painting techniques they will relax you because please don't stress over it. It is only paint. Just relax and enjoy the process. If you don't like what comes out, just... Oh, that was a stuff up. <laughs> Excuse me, French. Um, if you don't like it, just scrape it because it's not any big, big uh, world-changing difference. It's just a bit of paint but love those colours already. This bit will get zoomed off, I am sure. Just like to leave it for a few, I mean, I'd like to leave it for a few minutes to see, let the paint react and uh, cells or colours come up. But um, just gonna give it a gentle tilt. Oh, those colours are just gorgeous. I wonder what I would do if I spun it a little bit. I haven't got it stuck down, so I'll probably end up with a whole new wardrobe of clothes with paint splatters on. But there you go. Just see if it'll spread it out a little bit for me. Keep going. I need a little motor on it, I believe. I think you can get them, uh, my pottery pouring wheel. I think they, they also come with uh, little motors on for people, potters that do ban on banding wheels. Oh, look at that. If I'd have stuck this down with my double-sided tape, I would have felt a little bit more confident about <laughs> spinning it. But don't feel so confident spinning it while it's not actually attached on there. Go for it. Don't mind it being left with that. Absolutely don't mind that at all. So we might try here is um, those colors. Let's bring my little heat wand. These are all available. All the products that I'm using from my Montmartre, Helmar, uh, the Montmartre pouring medium, all available online in the drop down box that you will see underneath this video you just have to click either the little v or there's a box that says description you will find my pouring medium recipe you'll find links to beginners uh, acrylic painting for beginners you will find links to the online store in australia so i think i've covered everything there for you there also is a link there to if you would like to join our australian acrylic 
pouring group. Uh, you don't have to live in Australia, it's a worldwide. So you can actually post your pictures of your creations and I definitely will see them. But there is a little team of, um, oh, administrators, do you call them, that's uh, maybe there to answer questions for you. But mostly that particular site is for you guys to help one another and be courteous and kind for anybody that may have questions. Uh, I will see your work, not that I will answer every single one because I have so much um, going on with all the other sites that I have my work on, so just bear with me, but I usually do see them and try to read through everything. So that's link is underneath there. The heat wand heats the paint slowly gets rid of any air bubbles and brings up your cells beautifully doesn't burn the paint colors are coming through now with the heat I lost any yellow in there, it's turned a bit more green over here. That obviously is the Viridian. Look at that lacing there. No cells, look as though they're just floating. Well, you must have a go on the round, guys. It's always a little bit more interesting to change the shape of your work surface that you're painting on I believe some gorgeous cells oh there is a worm you get worms I believe are created through silicon not mixed in well into your paint I'm gonna leave that yeah there's a real wormy here um, I absolutely believe you get worms in your work when you've put silicon in paint and you haven't really mixed it. I always put my silicone in and I give it a really good mix and then mix it again before I paint. Then I find that I don't get so many worms and um, sort of big silicon cells, which I believe that is. So I should have mixed, I should have um, stirred my paint a little bit better because that's why you get those effects. But they don't usually bother me. If I get an effect that I don't like like that, then I get my teeny tiny balloon, wherever that may be. Can't find it. Maybe it's a, a, a message, don't use your balloon. But anyway, if I get cells that look like silicon cells, then I just will dip them so they don't, yeah. But that is quite lovely and that will actually continue to develop a lot further. Let's just see how we go here with a little spinny thing. But the cells are gorgeous. They're such gorgeous cells with that particular mixture. They haven't created any cells through here, which is absolutely fine because it's nice to have a bit of contrast. Okay, guys, there you go. It's, uh, I don't think I've done that particular color palette but I'll give you a close-up so you can have a little squizzy don't forget to wait till the end and see the end of what it will look like uh, when it's dry try to post the pictures after it's all developed and how I've finished it off is um, what you'll see so have a little close-up of some of those cells are just divine have a go on a different shape it's oh yeah variety is the spice of life Thank you guys for joining me. Please stay safe, stay connected. If you need someone to talk to, reach out. Family, friends, online friends that you need to talk um, because we all need that at times. Even the strongest need others to help them get through situations. So reach out. Uh, until next time. Until, um, yeah, I think of something else that I would like to try. I've got a few more ideas in my head for this week, so 
Thanks guys for joining me. Stay safe and bye for now.